viewers, it's a gorgeous day outside, but I'm vlogging from inside because I have a new room, but I will sort of get to that later. So first thing I actually want to say is thank you to all of my new subscribers, because I must have done something to my settings where it's not sending me emails anymore when I get new subscribers, and normally I get it in my email and I click on the person's username and I go and I thank them right away. So I've been wondering why am I not getting any new subscribers, but then I checked the number and I've probably gotten about 10 or 15 in the last couple of days and I'm not getting the emails. So normally I would thank every single one of you right away, but I'm not getting the email. So whoever the last, like, 15 to maybe 20 of you are, I'm sorry, I had no notification of that. So thank you for being here. Yeah, that's really important to me and I feel bad that I'm not thanking you. I'm gonna have to change my settings. So anyway, I'm gonna back up a little bit and do some vlogging. So, Saturday morning, my mom woke me up by knocking on my door. I have like 30 to 45 minutes to sleep. So we ended up going to the flea market for a couple of hours, and my mom's boyfriend wanted to buy me something, but I didn't want to let him buy me anything, like, little that I wasn't going to use. So we ended up going to this store called, like, Around the House, and it's owned by this adorable little Italian couple, and I actually talked to them, um, I don't know the husband's name, but the wife's name is Maria, and I was talking to them, and they're from a town in Italy about an hour away from my grandmother's hometown, so that was really exciting. And the husband plays accordion, and he played accordion for us. A little touch of Italy. <laughs> to get me something for my altar, but like I said, I wasn't going to let him get a little de decorative thing. So I said, I would really like a cauldron. If I could find one, you know, I'll know it when I see it. So he found this one that was like this deep and this big around and had the cute little like curly Q handle. And it was, it was a decent size, you know, but it was heavy, really heavy. Like I could not carry it at all. Like it would be fine if it was stationary, but I'm the kind of person that likes to carry things around. So I said, no, it's something smaller, but like that. And so he disappeared for about five more minutes in this store, which it's totally like, ridiculous. There's stuff just everywhere. So he disappeared, literally. And then came back around the corner about five minutes later and said, okay, Kara, this is the smallest I'm going. And I said, that's it. But uh, he actually didn't end up buying this for me because it was $10, and I guess he didn't want to spend that much, so my mom got it for me. But because my mom got it for me and we got a bunch of other little stuff and she already knew Maria, Maria gave it to her for five bucks. So once again, I did not buy my own tool. This is a gift from my mom. But I have a cauldron now. Look at it. Isn't it cute? And I also got a couple books. I got a copy of Cyrano de Bergerac and uh, a book of Chekhov plays that I haven't read yet. So I'm really excited for that. Maria actually gave me those. And then I also got four skeleton keys from her. She gave them to me for a little bit cheaper as well because we got so much. And I don't know where they are right now because I've been cleaning my room, but I got four skeleton keys. I love keys. Yesterday we took down my bunk beds, which is what used to be in this room, and got me a futon. But the futon is not going to be in this room. It's going to be in my bedroom, which is right there through this doorway. This used to be just like a little additional room. So, excuse me, so what we're going to do is put a door back up here, and this little room that I'm sitting in is actually going to become my witchy room. Say goodbye to the bunk beds, because they're going away. My bunk beds are all cleared off and ready to be taken apart. And now the bunk beds are gone. And the shelves are down. Look at the floor. This 
floor is gross. Yes. Hello. Hi. Last night we had a group meditation and bonfire and then we came inside to do some pendulum work and the animals decided to join us. <laughs> well, that's a brilliant way to open the video, Kevin falling backwards in his chair. Again, I did it before you came out. But this time I did it just so you don't have to talk to me. Stop looking at me with your red light. Say hello. No. Goodbye. You just knocked over the bug spray. Hello. Does that thing have night vision? No. That would be sweet. Well, you can't see it? How do you see me then? There's firelight on your face. There is? Ow. <laughs> How do I get it off? Do not throw the bug spray in the fire. Oh my god, Kevin. I thought he was Zeus is chasing his tail. No jumping over the fence. Oh, don't worry. Jumping over the fence. Zeus the moose. Zeus the moose. Oh, you knocked over the thing again. Hello. <laughs> Big nose in the camera. <laughs> you can't see it because he's backlit. And for the longest time, I've been feeling like my pendulum doesn't need to work with me anymore, so I had my mom ask her pendulum with her spirit board if I should give it away and things like that and who I should give it to. And it told her that I should give it to someone with the initials MB. And right after that, my cat jumped up onto the table and started nosing around at the pendulum. So jokingly, I said, well, obviously that stands for mystery. And I tied my pendulum, which is on a black cord, it's not on a chain, around mystery's neck. And she just sat on the table wearing my pendulum like crystals as a necklace. And it was adorable. Hey, miss, that's a cute collar you're wearing. Sure. What's she wearing? I'm not. What's she wearing, I'm cat? The cat held the galaxy. There you go. You know, Mom? You look good on you. And so my mom asked her pendulum to spell out the name of the person that I was supposed to give it to. And we got as far as M-Y-S-T before we decided that's it. The pendulum belongs to the cat. Kara's getting a new one. Well, Kara, the pendulum board spelled out M-Y-S-T. I asked it if it was trying to spell mystery, and it said yes. Little kitty. So my mom gave me um, a couple little uh, clear quartz points and little key charms because like I said I love keys and the little goddess pendant and things like that and I'm gonna pick out a chain and so I have to basically just feel out what I want to put on my pendulum and how I want it and things like that so I'm gonna get a new pendulum and right now my cat is outside somewhere walking around with a crystal necklace and I think it's adorable mm -hmm. And today starts a new Don't Make Us Vlog week with Katie's video. Tomorrow will be Matt, Wednesday, Brittany, and me on Thursday. If you haven't checked my little, like, pimp box in my on my channel, the second channel on there is Don't Make Us Vlog. That's me and my three friends from school vlogging to keep each other in touch with what's going on over the summer when we don't see each other. So I'm Thursday. And, of course, I'm Tuesday on The Pagan Perspective, so you can catch me there. And until next time, thanks for watching. Blessed be. Hello, cats. Zoom in on Mystery's new bling. Hey, miss. Hey, Mystery. Hey, Mystery. What are you, what are you better filmed from your left or what?